Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today, I'm going to be telling you guys which positions Luton Town need to strengthen for next season in the Championship. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, been very busy, I've just come back from China, I've been working at Wembley Stadium for non-league day, but now I'm back, I'm giving you guys this video and yeah, let's get on with it. So, in the goalkeeping department, I believe Marek Steck will be leaving the football club. This is because... He didn't go to Vegas with the lads. But also, I just don't think he's good enough. The last two seasons, my mind, my opinions on Steck have literally gone from, yeah, he's a good goalkeeper, to now actually he's average, to, to he's terrible. It keeps changing, but for me, I just don't think he's consistent enough. And I believe he won't be good enough for the championship. Even though he's played in the championship before, I just don't think he's good enough to like, I don't think he's warrant a place to be in the championship, to be fair. And I just don't think... Yeah, like I said, I just don't think he's good enough for the championship. I think Shea's done more as a goalkeeper to, like, play in the championship than Marek Steck. Steck, don't get me wrong, has won us points in League 2. Won us a lot of games. But in League 1, he was shocking at the start. I just... I just when he's in goal, I just don't... I'm not comfortable watching Luton Town. So, I'd rather have Shea get given an opportunity but then again we just have Shea we need another goalkeeper instead I think it's just too young and not ready so we're going to need another goalkeeper to strengthen and I just don't think Shea himself is not championship standard I do believe we need to be getting a new goalkeeper in Luton have been linked with a goalkeeper called Simon Moore now his younger brother Stuart Moore I believe was on loan with us and he didn't really have a great time at the football club. So I can't really see Simon Moore, who's played for Sheffield United, Cardiff, coming to Luton Town. And plus, I don't think he's the right goalkeeper we need. We need someone who's played championship like football. He's played it, but not much of it. And he's been mainly a second choice goalkeeper at pretty much every club he's been at. Recently as well, James Justin has been linked to be leaving the club. Apparently, fees have been accepted by Aston Villa, 7.5 million plus add-ons. That's a lot of money. Luton Town cannot like refuse that offer to be we'd be stupid to refuse that offer. So honestly, if James Justin does go, honestly, I hope him all the best for the future. Like you, Academy product at the end of the day. And yeah, I I believe he's gonna go far. But if James Justin does leave, that means we're going to need to bring in a fullback at least because we have released Jack Senior, who was playing as a left back for us. So we're going to need either a right back or a left back to come in to obviously strengthen our fullbacks areas if James Justin does leave. I also believe we need another centre back. I believe Sheehan is slowly like coming away from the first team and going more into a coaching role rather than a playing role so i believe we're going to need a new center half i think lloyd jones isn't good enough in my opinion and well he was at plymouth argyle didn't even play for plymouth who were relegated who got relegated so if he can't get into the team which got relegated where can he get into i don't think he's ready for a championship at all and i think he's been a pointless signing since he's got here so I believe we're going to need a new centre-half. We've been linked with a Peterborough United centre-half and we've also been linked with a Coventry City one. Graham Jones actually said like said a few things about this Coventry City centre-half. I think his name's called Willis. And yeah, he played against us and Graham Jones li likes the look of him and we can also get him on a free as he's out of contract. Another like position which we need to fill is that CDM role. McCormack's been released. Obviously, Glenn Ray and Paddy Rollett can also play there, but I believe we need someone with a little bit of experience in that role, just like McCormack. Basically, another McCormack, but a couple of years a little bit younger, who can just help um, help the players around him, like become a leader in that midfield. That would be great. This is all depends if we're playing the same formation, because if we play the same formation, then we're obviously going to need a CDM. If we don't, then it just depends what type of formation we need. But I still think... Regardless, we need an, a, a defensive midfielder because in the championship, when you're winning games, if you've got to hold a lead, bring on a defensive midfielder, bring on someone who knows how to win tackles, who knows how to lead in the midfield. I think it's very vital, despite whatever formation you play. So I believe we need someone with a bit of experience, just like McCormack, to come in in a defensive midfielder job. 
despite we need a central defensive midfielder, I still believe we need another centre mid just to strengthen that area in midfield. We're quite light on numbers. I didn't actually realise how light on numbers we were. We've only got a 23-man squad. It'd be a 24-man squad if Luala Wa signs his contract. But he has been offered, which is good. But, yeah, we're quite a small squad. So, we kind of need a little bit more depth within the squad. So, I still believe we need to bring in another centre mid. Maybe someone with championship like experience. I don't think we have too much um, championship experience. So, if we can bring that in, that would be fantastic. But then again, it's not all about championship experience. It's about how you play. It's about what each player does. So, it's not necessarily about the championship like experience which you need in a side but i personally feel like we we kind of need we need quality in my in my opinion and i feel like we need more quality in that midfield role because i don't think elliot lee's a number 10 for some reason he has played as a number 10 like for us in league two he done really well there and in league one he like first half this season he was fantastic when he come back from injury he just weren't the same player but I, I do believe we need a number 10 as well. So, we're going to need, a, like, we need, a, like, a creative midfielder. We also need a normal, like, bot, like standard midfielder who can do pretty much anything. And also a defensive midfielder. If we can get both, like, one for the price of two, like, a defensive and a centre mid, or a centre mid and an attacking player who can do both jobs, that would be fantastic. But we definitely need at least two midfielders. Also, I believe we're going to need another striker type of player. If Lawalawa doesn't sign, we're going to need that. We're definitely going to need a striker. Hilton, I don't know if he's going to be able to cut it in the championship. Jervis is definitely not good enough. And then we've got young players. Um, we've got a young youth lad, Cornick, and then we've got Collins. So we kind of need another striker in. Obviously, someone who's got an eye for goal. I actually believe we need someone who's quite like quite pacey, quite quick. I know a lot of people are talking about like a target man, like a Tom Eves from Gideon, like someone like him. I agree. I, I believe Eves from Gideon is a very good player. Over 20 goals for a team in the bottom half of League One is outstanding to do. Also, he's like an Andy Carroll type of player, causes so many problems. But he's been rumoured to be going elsewhere, like more up north as he's from that area. So, But if we can bring a player like him in, don't get me wrong, I would... I would love a player like him. Different, he's a different option basically. But I, I feel like we need like a pacey striker, like a Jack Marriott type of player in the team. I don't think we've got that. We've got Collins, who's in, like a goal scorer, who, but he isn't a player who will run behind the defence. Cornick can do that. I don't think Cornick's clinical in front of goal enough, and his goal record shows that. So, and Danny Hilton doesn't really do that either. So, if we can get some, a player who can get behind the defence quite a lot, hard working, like a Marriott, then that'd be great. So, we definitely need a striker. So, there are the positions which I feel like we need to recruit. Definitely a striker, at least two centre mids, a goalkeeper, a centre half, and a full back option if. So, at least we need five or six new signings, which I believe we will do. However, Graham Jones may don't want to play this diamond formation. Now, he mentioned it in the press conference how he wants to play this type of diamond formation. But what managers say and what they do is two different things. Do I reckon we'll play the diamond in the championship? I just, I don't know. I just don't think it will work. You know, a lot of clubs in the championship play wingers. Like, the difference between the championship and League One is... The quality is so much better. So in League One, we can easily get away with it because Stacey and Justin, they had that quality to like stop the wingers and the fullbacks from ever attacking us. However, in the championship, you are playing top quality like players who will find ways of like getting past you, really. And I just don't think in the championship, when you've got two quality like wingers and fullbacks coming at you that we're going to have the right like set up to stop that i just don't believe it will work within the diamond i've watched a lot like i said i've watched a lot of championship football and i believe we're gonna to have to change the formation in my eyes i which could be a good thing which could be a bad thing but i know the diamond has got us a lot of success over the years but that's under nathan jones that wasn't under graham jones it was under nathan so Hopefully we we start we play a new system. 
If we're going to play a new system and it's going to involve wingers, we're going to need at least another winger. So that could be seven new players we could be bringing in. Despite Cornick and Loire Loire both can play on the wings. But we're definitely going to need another winger if we are going to play wingers. So there you have it guys. That's the areas which I believe Luton Town need to strengthen for next season in the championship i believe luton will do it quite early with the recruitment I, I believe we won't be doing any last minute ones well hopefully we don't do any last minute ones graham jones has already been doing has already done like some scouting like harford was in spain and portugal scouting so hopefully very soon we can sign some players and have a squad which we look forward to when we play in the championship but anyway guys that is the end of the video hopefully you did enjoy it drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it comment down below what areas do you think we need to strengthen within the squad subscribe to the channel if you are new follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already and i'll see you guys in the next video